It's been over two years since I started this channel, of where I first was making videos about scholarships. Over the years, people have told me via YouTube comments, emails, and through social media that thanks to my videos, as well as personally helping them edit their scholarship essays, that they were able to receive $5,000, $10,000, and even full ride scholarships. These students came from as close as where I live in Texas, Arizona, North Carolina, to as far as Nepal, India, Canada, Australia, Hong Kong, and the DR Congo in Africa. And over time, I've been able to win a couple more scholarships for myself. However, my scholarship process has changed over the years from my last three uploads. So now, I'm here to share with you how I'm still winning scholarships, 20 so far and counting, and how you too can win. This is a limited short series called The Scholarship Algorithm. This is episode chapter three of the scholarship algorithm series that I'm doing here. And today I will be reading you all the essay that got me a scholarship from Floyd Mayweather. So first I just want to say how I was able to find this particular scholarship. So I just so happened to be on Google one day doing my daily research of scholarship opportunities out there and I happened to find this one. And one of the things that I did when I was looking for the scholarship was that I typed in keywords. I typed in women journalism or women media, women communications because those are all those different career fields tie in when it comes to finding scholarship committees. I'm going to do like a whole other video later on in the series regarding keywords that you need to be using when it comes to narrowing down um, finding scholarship opportunities that you qualify for, that you're eligible for. But anyways, that's basically what I was searching for when I was looking for this specific scholarship when it came up. And I wrote the essay, did the application, and I'm going to share with you all right now what it looks like and what it sounds like. Okay. So here is the application. Um, of course it required my name, address, email, if I'm a citizen, GPA, major, expected graduation date, if I was taking out any loans and I said yes, indicated the amount there, and have I received any financial aid and I said yes, and it also asked uh, for me to list other scholarships that I've received, so I listed that there. And then in this section where it's talking about extracurricular activities, I mentioned all the things that I have done anywhere from my senior year of high school up till now. And then right here I said, please refer to the fourth page for my response regarding the essay topic that they had um, of where I had to give details about my career objectives and goals. And so also for the scholarship, it also required for me to put in my transcript and not just two, but three letters of recommendation and a resume. Now I will be doing a, a video later on, I think, about how to make your resume, your cover letter, more visually compelling because, of course, resumes are not just used for jobs or internships. They're also used sometimes for uh, scholarships, especially for scholarships that relate to um, your career field because if I'm someone evaluating a resume and I see one that's just, you know, very plain format, black and white, black, white, gray, I'm not going to be as convinced as opposed to someone who obviously has more uh, digital graphic design skills in formatting their essay and making it more visually compelling. But anyways, making another video about that sometime in the future, so make sure to look forward to that because I got a lot to say about that. And the site that I used to create my resume was um, canva.com. And the great thing about that is that you can make several variations of your resume. For example, if you're having a resume that's specifically for your career field versus a resume specifically for a part-time job or internship, you can make several versions and you don't have to redo it every single time. But anyways, let's go into this essay because that's what you guys are here for. So the prompt of the essay was career aspirations. Please tell us about your career objectives and how the scholarship will assist you in reaching them. <clears throat> Originally, I got into journalism because I thought I wanted to be a news reporter and anchor. However, now I have the aspiration to do news slash show producing. 
I realized this after recently finishing an 8 hour class of where everyone else were upperclassmen such as seniors and graduate students. I was only a sophomore at the time. The class was meant to replicate an actual newsroom on a 9 to 5 workday. We were expected to stack the show, come up with story ideas for general news, entertainment and sports, film and edit videos as well as write and edit scripts, and later it aired on our school's cable channel. The class was highly demanding and stressful and I felt unqualified in the beginning, nearly dropping out of the class. My professor said in the beginning that typically only one or two students get an A in her class and those who do are more than ready and qualified to work in actual newsrooms. Needless to say, after putting in 10 times the amount of work than others and exceeding the expectations of both my professor and classmates, I ended up receiving the highest grade. The original reason why I got into journalism in the first place is because it gives a voice to the voiceless. I thought that by being someone in front of the camera as a reporter, I would have more control over how a certain message and narrative is being portrayed, so to lessen stereotypes and inaccuracies, and to provide representation for those who aspire to be broadcast personalities as well. However, once I got behind the scenes and saw the whole process, that was when I realized that the producer is the one who actually, in fact, has the final say-so and how a story is being projected and if it will even be presented to the public. The producer has the power and access to make final edits to scripts and has the authority to assign stories to reporters as well as adding and dropping others. Today we live in a day and age of where journalism is un- ooh I didn't- see <laughs> the thing about this essay I didn't even realize it till now I had a typo in there but I'm glad that they still awarded me the scholarship because it says, Today we live in a day and age of where journalism is under being threatened. Today we live in a day and age of where journalism is being threatened. I should have omitted under. I think I had under in there because I was going to say under attack, but then I decided not to, but I forgot to delete the word. But anyways, today we live in a day and age of where journalism is being threatened. I wanted to be one of many who are responsible for regaining or instilling for the first time the public's trust in the media. One day I see myself working at major studios, well major networks like NBC, CNN, CBS, or ABC. In the near future, I want to create a black news network like NBC's Telemundo and possibly have it air on OWN by Oprah. If awarded the advancement of women in sports and entertainment scholarship through the Floyd Mayweather Foundation, it would greatly help assist me in further pursuing my academic and career endeavors with a bit less of a concern on finances for my education. The less I have to worry about money, the more time I have on my hands to dedicate to learning, creating, and seeking out opportunities to polish my skills and set myself up for success. So that was my essay. Sorry to interrupt mid-video, but I just wanted to say that this video that you're seeing here is one of a series. If you want me to send you a PowerPoint PDF version of this entire series rather than waiting for each video to upload and take notes from, I can send you that. All you have to do is fill out this form and make your payment. Then I will email you the entire presentation that covers all the videos seen in this series. Also, I offer a service called Scholarly of where I personally help people edit their scholarship essays. A lot of the people I work with don't have the best English or grammatical skills, so that's where I come in. And prices for that start at just $25. And lastly, I wanted to plug in here my GoFundMe. This is mainly for raising funds for when I study abroad in Tokyo, Japan this summer. But if you want to donate to help with that, my main education expenses, or just to show your appreciation for what I've been doing through these videos, then please do. Also, you'll see on there two really cool original songs I made with visual videos that pay homage to mainly Japanese video games and anime that shaped my childhood. Anyways, all of what I mentioned will be linked down in the description box down below. Okay, back to the video. So, regarding my essay, some of the key takeaways that I wanted to point out about this is that a lot of times when I am uh, writing any of my essays, I always like to use hyphens. Um, I just feel like it really helps with um, having certain phrases to really stand out. Uh, let's see what else. Also within the scholarship essay, I made sure, of course, towards the end of my scholarship essay, the name of the scholarship as well as the name of the foundation over the scholarship because again, when it comes to writing your scholarship essay, you want to make it sound as personalized as possible. You don't want to make it sound 
general or give the person the idea that you use the same exact essay for some other scholarship. You want it to sound as if it was made and written specifically for them and no one else. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention was within this scholarship I mentioned my trials to triumphs. This is one of the key elements that I mentioned in my old video regarding how I was able to win several scholarships using basically the same exact essay. If you wanted to check out that video, I also provided like an outline on how you should construct your essay, things to include. But anyways, what I mean by trials to triumphs is that you want to show personal growth. You want to show how you have been able to overcome a challenge. And in this case, with this essay, my personal challenge was that I was in this class, I was like the youngest person in there, everyone else was upperclassmen, graduate students, felt unqualified, nearly dropped out of the class, but then after all of that, I put in like 10 times the amount of work ethic than anyone else and ended up getting like the highest grade on the final project. When it comes to mentioning your trials or your triumphs or anything of where it's been challenging your life, you don't want to sound like you're self-pitying because I think when it comes to scholarship committees reading scholarship essays, if they read too much content that sounds too self-pitying, too, you know, woe is me or whatever, they're going to become desensitized to it in a way, just like we've been desensitized about everything that's been happening in this country. When it comes to essays in particular, I feel that as if, if you're someone on the scholarship committee, you're probably already reading dozens and hundreds of essays that are constructed just like that and that essay just doesn't set itself apart from the other essays. So if you are going to mention somewhere within your essay the hardships that you went through, you want to say along the lines that even though you went through that, that doesn't define you as a person, that you have been able to overcome it or you are continuing to try to overcome it. Also another thing is that you want to consider your audience in this case, my audience was Floyd Mayweather, which I would imagine is a team of people related to media, perhaps uh, several other people who are black as well. So I made sure to mention in my essay of how one of these days I want to create my own black news network and it would be somewhat similar to NBC's Telemundo and potentially aired on um, OWN by Oprah. Now, of course, I probably wouldn't have mentioned this detail of me wanting to create my own black news network. I would have just said news network if like I was applying for, I don't know, a scholarship from, you know, not, not a scholarship named after someone who's, who's non-black because I wouldn't expect them to really understand where I'm going with that. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and of course share this YouTube series with um, those who are looking for scholarships, whether that's students or parents. And also take the time to watch the rest of the series which will be uploading every Tuesday and Friday. And also if you happen to win a scholarship thanks to the advice in my videos, then please let me know in the comments down below or through email or DM on one of my social media platforms. Anyways, bye!